What's good guys, in this video we're going to talk about creating a queue class in Python. So queues are very similar to stacks. Uh, the, the, notable, the biggest noticeable difference is when data is added to the queue. So with stacks we have our data added to the top and removed from the top. Right, so there's really one point, one end of our list that has all the intention, which if we take a look and we get a good view, is that when we push and pop, it's at the end of the list inside of the stack. And with queues, it's a little bit different. So actually removing data is going to be the same because we're going to be removing at the end of the list inside of our class. However, when we add data and it's a queue, we're not going to be adding to the end of the list. We're actually going to be adding to the beginning of the list, right? So here's one of the big differences between stacks and queues. Another thing is actually one of the getters for the data. So with stacks, we deal with uh, stacking things from bottom to the top. Right, and this gives a LIFO behavior, which means last in, first out. So we're always dealing with the top. That's probably the most important area of the stack because it's where we remove data is at the top, and it's also where we add data, which is at the end of the list, right? So the end of the list here is the top of the stack. With queues, however, we add data to the beginning, not the end, of the list. We remove data from the end of the list, but with queues we add data to the beginning of the list. Right? So because of that, let's get rid of that. So because of that, our push function or push equivalent function for the queue will be different. So one thing that's quite nice about queues is that they're very, very similar to stacks in the sense that we're going to be having we are going to be having the same constructor destructor string special method um, equals not equals and size right all these will remain the same for queues which is quite nice so here we're going to create our queue class and we're going to paste everything which is nice so the only big difference the only change that we have to do for all this is actually quite a minimal we have to change this to nq. So when it comes to adding data in stacks, we call it push. When it comes to removing data in stacks, we call it pop. However, the terminology is different for queues. When we're adding data to the queue data structure, we call it nq. And when we remove data from the queue data structure, we call it dq. Okay, so this is going to be the first notable difference. However, everything else is going to stay the same. And let's move this to the top here now. So before, like I said, the thing that we're very concerned with when it comes to a stack is that we're adding data and removing data at the end of the list. It's very important. This is a very specific behavior that's exclusive for stacks. Okay? For queues is different. Both ends of the list are going to be important. So we will define getters that emphasize the importance of that. So first I'm going to have a front getter which will get the front of the queue which means if you are in front you're going to be um, how should I say if you're in front of the queue you are next in the queue you're going to be dequeued first right so the front should be the end of the list that's familiar that's similar to the top of the stack so I'll copy that over and paste it here right so the front of a queue is going to be the same as the top of a stack however the bottom of a stack is going to be the equivalent to the back of the queue so we're going to define a back getter function for the back of the queue so this is going to this is going to be a element of data that has just been enqueued into our queue data structure or well, here class. And since I want to access the very very first element of the list, it's going to have a zero index 
because lists, similar to arrays, they start at zero. Right, so we have these two getter functions, which are super important for queues, and they are exclusive to queues. So now let's look about enqueuing and dequeuing. And, you know, to be honest, the, the methodology is very, very similar. So why don't we copy this and just modify it? So here we're going to copy and modify, and instead of push, because we're going to be using the right terminology, it's going to be enqueue. And instead of pop, we're going to be doing dq right so dq can stay the same because when we're dequeuing we are eliminating what's at the front of the queue when we're enqueuing we are not adding data to the front of the queue we're adding data to the back of the queue so because of that i'm going to be using a different method instead of append so append adds to the end of the list what i'm going to be using is the insert method right and actually we can see the documentation we're going to provide an index which is going to be an integer and an object right so what are we going to be inserting at which index well since we are inserting at the back of the queue the back has an index of zero so zero index zero is where we're inserting so what's the object that we're going to insert well here it is it's going to be called value right so here when we're enqueuing we're adding data to the beginning of the list which makes sense because we're adding data to the back of the list when we're dequeuing we are removing data from the end of the list which also makes sense because we're going to remo be removing data from the front of the list as if we were a queue right if you're in a queue the last one that enters the queue is going to be the first one that leaves the queue Right, and this is the FIFO behavior. First in, first out. Let's save this. Right, so for the most part, the queue has the same functionality as the stack. The only thing that we're missing here is our print stack, which we'll need to change to print queue, and our search. So for the most part, this should be correct. You know, stacks stacks and queues have an extremely similar behavior okay the biggest difference is really these four methods here the, these two getter functions and the nq nq method and the dq method right you know the dq method is essentially the same as the pop function with the stack it just has a different name because we're using different terminology However, the NQ is totally different from push. And uh, in the next video, what we're going to do is that we're going to cover uh, kind of like a main driver code to include these two classes so that way we can test them. Thank you for watching this video.